everyone, it's Jeannie again, and I am back today to show you what I have been up to with um, doing some um, glittering. And oops, I covered up my dies there. So anyway, I showed in a recent haul that I had purchased these um, snowflake dies from Amazon. And um, they also came with some trees, and I have been wanting to play with them, and I've been kind of in the mood um, to play with some glitter. So I've been watching some different tutorials and, um, and decided I wanted to play with some different mediums and some glitter. And so that's what I did. And so I did a variety of, I used a variety of different products here, and I thought I would show you my results and kind of what I thought of... Um, kind of the best methods uh, to do these little intricate die cuts. Now, probably you guys, I would, if I would do this again, um, I would probably glitter the paper and then cut out the, um, the snowflakes. Basically what I did is I cut all of these snowflakes, except for the ones I cut out of glitter paper, on just white cardstock, and then I used different mediums on them, and they were a little bit, I think, harder to... Um, kind of to manage and control um, because they're so delicate but anyway so and really what sparked me wanting to do this too is I had bought last year at Thanksgiving I bought this really pretty when I was in Indiana I bought this really pretty silver halo glitter mix from Stampendous and you can see hopefully how pretty that is it's really holographic and really colorful and um, so I had never used it before and I really wanted to play with it and so I ended up that was the first thing that I tried and these are um, the snowflakes that I did with this and um, this probably wasn't the best glitter choice you guys for these um, this one came out kind of pretty but because there's some chunky glitter in there you kind of lose the detail of the snowflake um, I mean they're still really pretty they're super sparkly I don't know if the camera's picking that up but um, but they're really pretty so um, so basically I used some and I used a variety of glues you guys too um, I used some of the Martha Stewart glitter glue and um, I also ended up using Martha's decoupage medium that was my favorite wet glue actually to use and then I also used some um, scotch quick dry so anyway and so um, you can see on this really skinny little snowflake I put just a really thin layer of uh, glue on that one so there's not as much of the chunky glitter and then I ended up adding more um, to this one and so this one like I said it's got a lot of the chunky glitter out of that mix on there um, but you can't see as much detail in the snowflake so anyway so there's that so then I decided to do some gold glitter and this is also loose glitter that I used um, and this again I used the Martha Stewart um, excuse my reach here um, I used this. This is more glue from Tuesday morning. This is the decoupage glue and sealer. And um, this one has a little brush on it. And I found that to be, um, a, get a little bit better coverage. And so this, and this is also Martha's glitter that I used on there. And you guys, I liked the decoupage medium better than the glitter glue. I just thought it did a better job. But um, anyway, but these turned out really pretty too. And you guys, I have glitter everywhere. I mean, there's glitter on my dog, there's glitter on my husband, um, all over the place. So anyway, um, so and then I also, my other, my last loose glitter that I did was this one. And this was a cheapo pack of glitter. I think I got at the, um, at the Dollar Tree. And this one, I think I did use just the glitter glue on it. And you guys have done this a couple of times and I still have some bare spots. So... Um, but this was the the glitter. It was actually in one of those little, let me see if I can show you. It was actually in these little pouches that you have to kind of cut open. And so I just, I had this little empty container and so I put the light blue in there. But I'm thinking I might just mix these together because um, I don't really have any other containers to put this, this in. But anyway, so I mean it's pretty but it's got some, and I even, like I said, I tried to go back over it. I did it twice, you know. But anyway, so that um, is, those are the loose glitter, these ones here. Then the next thing I did is I decided to do some stickles. 
And so these are the ones that I did with stickers, stickles. I did two, and stickles, you guys probably know, is the prepared glitter glue. So it's kind of less messy in terms of fly out, glitter flying around. Uh, so I used the pink cotton candy, I'm not sure what the blue color was, but this kind of turquoise blue that I had. And then I used, um, I believe this is the frost or diamond. And I like the way the white one came out the best. It, um, and I think it's because the snowflake is white. I think these ones would have been prettier if, like, if this had been cut out of pink paper with the pink glitter on top. Um, or blue paper and the blue glitter on top. So, so you can see they're kind of sparse. Maybe if I did another coat, but anyway, so those are the three that I did with stickles. So, and then I decided to go ahead and use, I have, and I'm sorry, it's out of the original container, but this is the Recollections um, Sparkle Embossing Powder. So, and I've had this for a really long time, and I decided to do um, to do that. And again, um, and these these did turn out really pretty. Now they're kind of um, the paper was white, and now they're kind of uh, um, it almost makes them kind of an off white or a gray, but they are really really sparkly. And that of course that glitter is then um, it's doesn't come off because it's you know, melted into the embossing powder. But those turned out, these are probably my favorite ones that I did. Um, I thought they turned out really pretty. But again, um, and I used on um, these, I used this um, Stampendous Clear Embossing Dauber um, rather than, and I could have dipped them into like a embossing pad, but I ended up using the Dauber. But these were really hard to hold while I was trying to heat the embossing powder. So again, I think it would be better to just do a sheet of, go ahead and emboss a sheet of paper and then cut the snowflakes out of it after it's already embossed. So just a little tip from me to you on that. And then you guys, I decided to use my uh, sparkle pens. So this one, and I don't know if this camera's gonna pick this up, but this one I did with the Spectrum Noir clear glitter sparkle pen. So I just took it and colored all over the, the edge of it. Oh, I've got a little on the back there. But you guys, these dies cut really, really well on almost everything that I use. And this isn't super thick cardstock, but not too bad. But so that one is just colored with the Spectrum Noir pen. And then these two are done with the Wink of Stella pen. And um, the gold one really came out pretty. Now it's not, I would say it's more, especially compared to these, it's almost more of a bronze, but you can see it's really sparkly. Um, this one, you guys, is the silver, and um, you guys, all it did was turn my paper gray, and um, so I didn't have any glitter in it. I don't know if I have a bad pen or whatever, so I took the clear Wink of Stella and put it over the top, so now it has a little bit of glitter, but it's kind of a weird color. It looks like dirty snow, <laughs> so it's kind of a weird color, but um, so I did that, and then I decided to cut some of the snowflakes out of um, actual glitter paper and also I did some foil paper. So these are strips of um, silver glitter paper that I had and these are from an old Martha Stewart pack that was actually a Halloween pack um, and um, so I had that and then I used this kind of brushed um, silver and this is this is very thin um, glitter paper. Um, it does have a little bit of fallout but not too bad and so and these came out really good you guys too. So um, again here are the the silver glitter paper ones and you can see they're edge to edge and then these are the ones that I did out of the foil paper and those came out really good too and that foil paper was really thin so those cut out very easily so those I think turned out pretty and I did I did all um, four of the snowflakes in both the foil paper and the glitter paper. And this one here, guys, this really spindly one, that is actually the center of the big one. And I think it's I think it's just really pretty on its own. Um, so yeah, so it did those. And then the one other one I did is I tried the um, oops. I tried the um, Dollar Tree glitter, it's called glitter um, glitter poster board and it did not cut through very well you guys that actually separated this is the backing and so it's a little bit sticky on the back um, so this one I, I was able to get the little snowflake out cleanly and so you can see it's that sparkle paper but the backing did come off so this is just the backing of the one but where is it 
you can see um, the rest of this one didn't it didn't cut all the way through cleanly so um, it looks like it did but there was no way I'm just gonna fart around with trying to get these out of there so they are partially cut and this is the kind of glitter paper that doesn't have any fallout but has kind of that plasticky of kind of a plasticky layer so this one did not do as well so this was probably my fail of the three so just FYI on that I think maybe if I had used a shim in my big shot it would have been okay but the rest of these I did not have to use a shim for so that is my little, you guys, adventures in, um, in glitter, and now I'm going to try, I'll probably be cleaning up glitter now for a few weeks, but anyway, I just wanted to show you what I was working on, and I'm, I'm planning to use these to make some, um, I think I'm going to do some tags, but we'll see. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.